Previously on Super Vita. 911, what is your emergency? I have intruders in our house and I need you to send someone over right now. Hmm, Nisha. We already have. <laughs> How do you know my name? Ada! Ada! <sighs> What do you want, Nicole? Ooh, hi, Trey. Did you think we wouldn't find you? Nicole and I, we were part of an elite government unit that's more connected than the president. You guys really should get to the house. If you put one hand on our kid, I- You will what? What if I put two hands wrapped around your daughter's neck so tightly she stopped breathing? Mm hmm? What would you say then? Did you want me to send you a video? No? Okay then. Trey, get that car moving. It says your location is 10 minutes out and don't make it 11. Ada? Marcus? So quick. Not quick enough. Oh my god. Oh, hey. <laughs> so this is the infamous Nisha you married, huh, Trey? You might want to tell this bitch to sit the fuck down. Nisi, please sit down. Don't Nishi me. You know, how could you be so calm? Right now, what choice do we have? So baby, mm. please take a seat. <laughs> mm. Don't you get hot wearing that shit all the time? Hmm. Let me think. Do I look hot? Don't you get tired of getting your ass handed to you by Nicole all the time? Hold that. Tie his ass up. How did you find me? Hmm. We always knew where you were, Trey. We just chose to leave you alone. Why did you leave me alone? You guys never leave people alone. That's true. But what we were doing for the government was <clears throat> small potatoes compared to this big picture. And when you chose to disassemble our unit and go rogue, Henry was pissed and wanted you dead almost as much as me. But then something amazing happened where you were able to become more of an asset than just a dead traitor. Who's Henry? Hmm? Who's Henry? <gasps> Henry, he's many things. But to me, he's my brother, our leader. And you know what? Just to show you who Henry is. Hmm. Hmm, that's Henry. And now you'll never forget it. Hmm, Henry? He doesn't give two shits about people. Male, female, you're all the same. But Trey, you already knew that. Which is why he does nothing to protect his little wifey, but ponder. Just look at him, Nishi. Pondering his next move, of which there is none. Which leads me to your all's next thought. Why, why are, are we, we here? here? Exactly. Well, let me tell him. Do you know this person? Why are you talking to her? She doesn't have any answers. Does he always talk for you? He's such a gentleman, isn't he? Can't you see him talking to the lady here, man? Relax. Now, do you know this person? What answers do you want? She doesn't have any. I have the answers you want. Not the answers we need. Now, do you know this person? Or should I have Nicole put a bullet in that wannabe TikTok star daughter of yours? Whom, by the way, have you guys seen her account lately? None of that crap for my daughter. Now, back to this lovely photo. Is this a person you know? I do. Huh, that's what I thought. See, Trey, I told you not everything's always about you. Wait, did you really think we were coming here for you, Trey? 
We could have done away with you a long time ago, bro. We could have picked you off way before dipshit Marcus was born. But we didn't. And that's not why we're here today. We even know about Ada. You two couldn't have babies of your own, so you adopted that brown-haired Q-tip over there. How noble of you two chocolates. But, lo and behold, there is a God, and you two got pregnant with dipshit Marcus over there. See, Trey? We always knew, bro. We know things even you don't. Being connected sure has its benefits. So, Anya, do you want to tell him who's in the photo, or should I? Who's Anya? Her name's Nisha. <laughs> sure she is. I'm willing to bet. You have no idea who your little wifey is, do you, Trey? My bet He's is clueless. clueless. Is your name really Anya? Yes. Trey, I'm not... I'm not... You're not what? It's okay. What? Tell me. A long time ago. Trey, I'm not who you... You're not... You know what? You're not... If you just you let me just talk... You, listen you to what? me... You're like rolling with chicks? Is that what Wait, it is? What? No! <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not anymore. Okay, Anya. Time for the big reveal. And I am impressed. You've been able to sit on this for 10 years. <sighs> Come on, Mrs. Bad Taste and Home Decor. Spill. Trey, I'm not... A long time ago, you know, before we met, mm -hmm. I was part of a group called the Anti-Connected Agency. You know, of course, we had to call it something shorter, TACA, you know, because people can't handle long titles. Before then, I had come from nothing. I come from worse than nothing. And Taka was my family. And I did good work for my family. My fam Taka gave me their most important assignment. I had to infiltrate the connected, embed myself with them, give Taka all the information that they needed to get. And from there, they knew about you. Professional, well disguised, and human, you. So I made myself known to you and I'm not sure how I was able to do this, but I was able to make you care for me, want to marry me, have children with me. And you did. We did. We married, we built a life together and it all got started because of Taffy. So, you've known about me all this time? Yes. All that bullshit in the car earlier about me and Nicole, that was just part of the act? Well, no. You know, I did wonder if you two were together. Like, together, together. What about our kids? What about Marcus and Ada? What, what Do you, you fake about? feel about them like you fake feel about Wait, me? What? No! I don't understand what you're saying, Trey. I, I know you don't want to believe this, but I love you. I love Marcus and Ada. That was never a lie. You know, what about you? You've been lying to me this whole time and you're mad about my lie? The only difference between you and me is that I knew about your lie and I loved you anyway. And I was keeping Taka off our backs to keep us and our family safe. I don't know who we are anymore. <sighs> well, this Lifetime movie has been... Almost interesting. Time to get back to reality. Grim, can you turn that TV back on? No problem. Do you see these people? Do you see 
need them. We are everywhere. We always have been. And we have been waiting to pull the plug in your little fool's game. And Nisha, your family, Taka, they know all about your lies and deceptions. Because I told them. And now they're on their way here to kill you. And Henry and his entourage, they'll be here soon. So we have some choices to make. Anya, Nisha, I don't give a shit anymore. You have two choices. You know what? I'm feeling generous. Two plus one. Choice one, you can stay living this Grand Hampton fake accent wall life and continue to feed our bullshit to Taka. Choice two, you can stay true to your family. Then all of you die. Choice two plus, if you choose choice two, the first to go is Marcus and Ada. And you can choose to wake them up now to say your goodbyes, or I can kill them now while they're asleep and they won't feel a thing. Too soon? Choices, choices. Trey. Nisha, you can't tell me you'll just let our children die. I don't think we can trust Nicola with this. You have no choices here. They'll kill all of us. Mm, that, who are these people? Marcus, it's okay. Don't move. Wait, what did you tell Wait, What's going on? Nicole, do you promise to spare my husband and my children if I go with you? The Connected? Do you promise? Hmm. Nisha, have I ever lied to you before? Look at the TV! Oh, it's Henry. My beloved brother is here. And there's one person he can't wait to see. You think Nicole came through? How the hell should I know? She's your sister and you know how I feel about her. Open up! Henry, will you please remember where you are? Use your Grand Hampton voice! Uh, do you need your gun for this, Mr. Henry? Didn't I tell you to stay in the car? Uh, uh yeah. And you're not in the car, why? Don't make me say it again! You could really use a little more patience. Patience are for hospitals, and I've been patient enough. You know what, Nisha? Why don't you ask Marcus what you should do? Mom, Dad, do you know Nicole's telling you? Marcus, why is Nicole talking about you? Now open up, people! Nicole, you promise you won't oh, hurt them Marcus, if I- Marcus, Marcus, have I ever lied to you before? Answer me, Marcus! Why is Nicole talking about you? Answer me, Marcus! Don't make this a grim and trade situation. Don't answer him, Marcus. Stay quiet. Doc, calling your children.
thousand times a week I get high off mountain green Just to boost my self-esteem I look at fat people, say that's not me I open up my eyes cause I can see I dumb shit down for nobody If, if you don't either say I agree It's your life, it's your story Write the line in your glory And just let bit of gift to gab every song i get on i put the bitch to bed 10 spit with a whole lot of i get lit hate niggas that punch keys and talk that shit like a fake online identity switch tough talk homie gotta walk that shit be thorough as thorough is and bust that clip i make rappers memories like remember that shit they had that one smash but seizes that shit those writers on deck when you actors on set the pen of another hand repping the man i was raised to write raised to fight i was raised to talk shit but be polite in the world where the cops will just shoot on sight you better stay war ready in your army fatigues you better stay woke shorty got no time to be seen it's your life it's your story write the lies in your glory and just let it go let it flow and just let it flow let it go it's your time don't you worry write the lies to your story Okay, so I I see you put the tape in. Yes, did you forget the doctor wanted us to record your first session? No, why would I forget that? The tape is in, so hit record. I am. <laughs>